It's yeah. cold. People are inside. Yeah. yeah. order. Yeah. I mean, hell, bro, even Miami's been cold the past month. I yeah. don't even know why. Yo, what the hell, man? Where are hoodies in Miami? Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, it's been real cold. Damn, it's been I, cold. Nigga, I know you're cold right now. Shit. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, wow. mo- mo- most, because people got to remember that most of the population in the United States, like, lives on the coast, essentially, right? And, like, California isn't as warm as people think. Obviously, Oregon and Washington, cold as hell. Then you talk about the Northeast, cold as fuck. Yeah. So that makes sense that it would make a lot of sales. Uh, so, guys. No complaints. He gave you some sauce right there. There you go. Hot the chocolate. Free, free. Hot niggas. chocolate. Hot chocolate. Wow. Niggas. You got another five months to reap on that, too, because it's going to be cold for a while. Yeah, yep. for a uh, yep. <laughs> uh, What else here? Okay. Uh, Unplugged Fit goes, uh, KT is the GOAT. I've joined after the last stream with him on. I've been making money. His program is the truth. Plus, everyone inside will make sure you succeed. Do the work. Thank you, KT. F the haters, WFNF, best pot in the world, no excuses. Man, we give y'all everything, man. Shout Teach out. you guys yep. how to make money with every regard, man. Right, how to lose weight, everything, man. And we got Kitty, y'all. Kitty's been on three times. Is the reason why he's been on three times. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, his students are getting results, man. Yep. Austin Rojas. Oh, no, J. Ichiban goes, question for the guys. Do you guys have any references or insights for starting your own clothing brand and selling online? I'm in Japan and have an idea that will definitely kick off, but I don't know the logistics. Bro, I'm going to keep it a thousand with you when it comes to selling clothes, man. If you don't got have a brand? An audience. Yeah. It's going to be very difficult for you to sell clothing, bro. Like, you have to be a somebody. People got to care and know who you are. It doesn't matter how much of a brilliant genius you are or how fashionable you are. You're be- you might be better off doing what KT does is just sell other clothing brands instead. But he just told you all that apparel might not be the best. But, um, yeah, man. Because be- this has been a few times where people say, yo, I got a clothing brand that I want to do. You have audience? If you don't have audience, bro, it's going to be tough. Yeah, I can't imagine trying to sell something without having a brand. Like, yeah. nowadays. Yeah. It's tough, bro. Yeah. Especially since the, the, the barrier to entry to sell clothes is so easy now. Actually, I have a question. Uh, clothes are kind of like everlasting in a way. What about perishable items? Should they sell that on Amazon too or no? Yeah, I sell a lot of perishable items. Mm. And then even the brand that I'm about to launch mm. on Shopify, I'm going to launch on Amazon too. It's It expires after a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the thing about that is it's really good because keep, people keep on buying them. It's like makeup and uh, and beauty products. People keep buying them month after month or every two months, every three months. So it's always in demand. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Really good. Kind of like Tish Hanley. Yep. Once you get on it, you're on it for like yeah. monthly renewals. Do you, do you sell makeup too? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You <laughs> hey, hey, that industry.